Yo, what's up guys, AFC Dino here and welcome to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to be playing a new team. Uh, as you guys can see, it's going to be Jolteon, Tyranitar, Weezing first time, Weezing debut, uh, Ferrothorn, Mandibuzz and Mi Yan Xiao. If you guys are interested in the Poker Paste uh, to know the items, the movesets, uh, the EVs, whatever, the abilities, uh, you can find them on Patreon. There's a Poker Paste on Patreon, link down in the description. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna enter the queue. Also, guys, um, if you'd like, uh, you can maybe donate me in game through mailing a mail to the Odinho. And if you can spare me some money, yeah, that would be nice, as it does save me because uh, I'm almost out of money <laughs> 699k. Um, but yeah, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Uh, so, yeah, we've dropped a bit in rating. Uh, so, playing. Uh, I've been not having good results, losing quite a bit of games, uh, and obviously, uh, people climbing on the ladder as well. But yeah, I'm just gonna play this team, and I'm excited, guys. We are excited. Okay, so first battle of the day. First battle with this team as well. And this looks like a strange team. Is this Trick Room? Our team is actually super weak to especially offensive Lucario, so we gotta keep that in mind. Um, however, our Jolt team will get completely walled by this Oregon, uh, so we gotta keep that in mind as well. Unless he's download. But. Mm, I'm just gonna lead with my um, Mian Xiao because I'm not sure what he's gonna do, right? He's leading Hariyama, but if he led into something like, I don't know, Burnape, uh, it could have been really bad for me. That's why I opted to go for this play. And I'm just gonna U turn there as he fakes me out. Let's play more. What is this? Not that it matters much. You can still U turn. Reveal my choice card, but we do have a Weezing in the back, which doesn't care too much about this because um, he has to burn on him. And I'm gonna use Toxic Spikes. This is literally gonna do nothing. Okay, that actually did a lot. <laughs> I guess Facade is still boosted by uh, the burn, uh, but we can just Toxic Spike up here. So I don't see a Defogger on his team. We are also faster than him. So let me open up the battle tab, uh, making sure. He did 34. Okay. And honestly, I can go for an extra layer. And then we can uh, decide to perhaps I go for Pain Split. Maybe he's running Bullet Punch, but that is not. Um, that is not increased with the Guts boost, because even if he has a priority move, it doesn't matter. We can just paint split it off. But I got my two layers of Toxic Spikes. I'm looking at his team. I don't see a Defogger. And the Poison is really important uh, to basically get it on Porygon too. And this Clubs as well. But I get a free paint split off there. Also, if Conkeldor is actually um, Aim Orb, he's gonna get poisoned instead. But I get the pain split up no matter what. Because I am faster than him. If he goes for a priority move, it's it won't kill me because he's burnt. And I basically negated the guts with my ability. The recent facade did so much damage is uh, because facade is still boosted because he's burnt, but he didn't get the guts boost. Bit of a strange team. He does decide to stay in. Look at this beautiful damage. He's gonna pivot into the Ferrothorn. On his next facade. Doesn't really matter too much. 
as he clicks close combat. That's that's fine. You can kill me there. You are allowed to kill me there. Um, I'll pivot into this. And I'm honestly just clicking close combat. I don't care if uh, this Clubs comes in. This Clubs is going to get poisoned. But this doesn't allow him to go into... Um, like Infernape, Oregon. Because I have a choice scarf in the back. Or actually in front of them. So if he goes Dust Clubs, he is going to get poisoned. Um, okay. Is he going to extreme speed me? I have to stay in because uh, I cannot afford to let this guy set up. Okay, it's physical. But that, that is good to know. As he dies, perfect. That's a big track gone as well. And I can still keep uh, this Pokemon. So the downside is my wheezing is pretty low. I wasn't thinking about Facade doing so much damage, to be honest, but uh, it is what it is. We got rid of Hariyama. Let's get this guy a Facade as well. I don't know, but uh, I'll just use this. If anything, we can paint split later. And he tries to mock punch me. And again, we can click uh, paint split pretty freely. Really sucks for him that he's using Hariyama and Conkelder when I have a Weezing. He doesn't gain the guts boost and hopefully he does go into something like Porygon so I can actually heal off. I just stays in. We get a lot of HP back. Awesome. My opponent went for a book up. But we can just hit him up with the flamethrower. And the poison is just starting to thick, like, this wheezing, putting in the work for us. Just clicking flame throw right here. Decent damage. And we just click flame throw again, because I don't care if he switches here. <laughs> like, it's free chip on whatever he brings in. And he decides not to go for a mock punch, so Conkelder dies. It's just a wheezing win. <laughs> okay, so I have Jolteon in the back. I'm actually gonna go into Porygon here. It's Iron Fist, okay. I guess he's physical, but I'm gonna use my uh, foul play here. If he's using his rain punch, he's not gonna kill me, and he needs to be life orb with, I don't know, flare blitz or flare blitz or close combat. And if he's using shitty fire punch or drain punch, he's gonna. Take a lot of damage. Plus he's using Sword Stand, so if he is using Mock Punch, he's gonna lack a move. I also don't think he's, I'm gonna die. Uh, uh, my, I don't think my Jolteon dies, but I'm not sure. Jolteon versus Infernape. Sword Stands. Well, actually, I would die with, a life, with him having Life Orb. 
But he clicks Flare, but he's gonna take so much recoil. And it has to be Life Orbed. What I can literally do is go into Tyranitar. And I'll just sack uh, Weezing. And if he clicks close combat, he's. Doesn't really matter, he's gonna die anyway, because Sandstorm, Poison, um, and Recoil. And he decides to go for Drain Punch, it's not gonna do too much to me. And it doesn't matter if Weezing dies at this point, Weezing already did what he had to do. My Weezing actually still lives. It's crazy can I because I can still click Pain Split on whatever he brings in next. But that's such a strange team though. Weezing is also gonna live this. <laughs> Weezing actually MVP. He was using three fight four fighting types actually. Wow. And I've choice bandit to run in the back. So, Spain split here. And look what we're getting back. Shadow Ball, interesting. And I can just literally go directly into Mian Chao. Um, if he kills my Mian Chao, it doesn't matter. I get a free switch into Tyranitar. And my opponent decides to forfeit. So we can get in the next game. Um, it, this was literally a wheezing win. His, his team was so weak to wheezing. Uh, he did weaken me a lot though with the Hariyama. But just getting off those toxic spikes. And then his, yeah, his Lucario not being able to knock out my Mihen shot, which was huge. <laughs> yes, that was really helpful. And. Yeah, we're about 12 minutes into the recording, uh, so I'm gonna pause the video a bit and then I'll be right back for the next battle. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> next battle. What are we facing this time? Okay, so I don't see a ground type on this team, which is kind of interesting. Um... I don't know if Blissey has aromatherapy. Renatar can do something, I guess. I'm just gonna lead up with my uh, Jolteon there. I think Jolteon is pretty decent this game. Um, this might be a choice scarf. Um, I'm gonna go into Ferrothorn uh, in case he's Choice Scarf Trick. Because I don't. My Jolteon is definitely good this game. And he just goes for Hydro. Maybe he's Scarfed. But I feel like I can just go for the Stealth Rocker. There's, there's low drawback because I just knock off uh, whatever he brings in. Um, being Golbat, being Blissey. He does go directly into the Conk Elder, but we do have a Weezing in the back, so we don't really care about the Skunk. Hold up. Do I just knock this? His Flame Orb is not activated though. There's no way he can kill me. Assuming he's a he's a leftovers variant, so um, I'm actually gonna open up. Um, 
Hold up, guys. I'm doing a little call here. Because I want to know. Um, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn versus Gelder. Train Punch is only doing. How much? Okay, it's not even doing a, it's not even doing that much. He went for Thunder Punch. <laughs> oh, he crits me though. Unfortunate. Is he Life Orb? He was leftovers, okay. I get rid of the leftovers, which is huge. Now I get in my wheezing. Getting rid of those leftovers are, is really good. Because the moment I burn him, uh, this Conkeldor becomes pretty useless. But yeah, now that I have rocks up, uh, it's really pressuring uh, either Golbat or Rotom. And me, I just revealed knockoff, but knocking off the Conkeldor is really awesome. Especially if I get Sandstorm up. And speaking about Sandstorm, if I get in my Tyranitar and click Crunch on him, only Scizor and Conkeldor come in, but we remove the leftovers from Conkeldor. If it's a Choice Bandit Scizor, uh, it's also really beneficial because he's going to come in on Rock Stick, a Choice Bandit Crunch. And also my Jolteon, obviously, uh, Volt Switching around. He did Hydro Pump on my Jolteon instead of going Blissey, so. Kinda tells me Rotom might be Scarfed. But I wonder what my opponent will do now. He's really thinking about this. What are you gonna do? But he revealed Thunder Punch. So I'm kinda curious what kind of Conkeldor this actually is. Because it is Leftovers Conkeldor. I don't think I'll be able to go for Toxic Spikes just because he has a gold bet. On the other hand, it does invite my Tyranitar in whenever he goes into the goal, but my opponent does decide to switch here. Goes for Drain. I think I'm just free to go for Willow Whisper. It's gonna hit the Rotom, it's gonna hit the goal bet. And. Just poisoning this is fine as well. Or burning this. We don't see... Okay. Hold up. A Volt Switch is not killing my Mian I'm actually going directly into the Mian Shao here. Uh, I'm assuming he wants to trick here. Gonna U turn here. Get the free chip on this. Then bring in Ferrothorn as. It doesn't matter if he goes Conkeldor, but I got free chip on the, on the Rotom. It sucks that I missed. It sucks that I missed my. Um, oh, he's trick D fuck. That's good to know. He's clicking Stoutrock again because he's locked into that attack. Going for Stealth Rock. I'm gonna stay in here as well. Because uh, Flamethrower is not killing me. And being able to knock this off as well. It's gonna be super beneficial to us. So I just click Wish. As he goes for Flamethrower. So it's Wish, Flamethrower. See, I'm only losing half. But I... I connect my leech. So I'll basically be close to full HP again. So we did the leech on the Blissey. As again, I can bring in my 
uh, me and Xiao here. As my opponent goes into the Metagross. Still don't know what kind of Metagross we're dealing with. It's probably... Looking at the build of his team, I think it, it has Psychic, it has... Uh, it's probably a Stealth Rocker as well. Rocky Helmet, okay. It's gonna go on Mandibuzz. I don't think Mandibuzz really needs to wall anything on his, on his team, but seeing the Rocky Helmet is pretty interesting. Opponent does decide to go for the Stealth Rock, but it's fine. I think Stealth Rock are still better for me. And he does end up going into the Rotom. Which I'm also damaging. So that is really nice. And I can just U-turn here as he tries to trick. But like I said, my Mandibus doesn't really need to do or wall anything on his team. So I can just get the U-turn damage off. Then we can go into our Jolteon. And just click Volt Switch. And if he goes into Blissey, we get in our Tyran uh, Tyranitar. And mess something up. And the moment we actually remove Blissey, by the way, uh, it's going to be super scary for him. But like I said, I can just go for the Joyce Bennett Crunch now, because uh, I have Stealth Rock up, Sandstorm is running. And there's, this is a very low drawback play. Goes into Conkeldar, but like I said, it doesn't really matter, because look at this. Still Joyce Bennett Crunch doing the damage. And he has no leftovers, so it's just really helpful. I can get him wheezing against this. And we can go for Toxic Spikes, forcing our opponent to click Defog at a certain point. It kind of sucks that we missed against the Rotom. But I will go for the Toxic Spikes uh, just to pressure this Conkeldar and the Blissey uh, later on. We just go for one layer, that's enough. So it's Flamethrower, Wish. It's Flamethrower, Wish. Soft Boil. Good to know. Which is super power here. As he stays in and that is a dead Blissey. Goodbye. Like the choice bandit to Renatar just putting in so much pressure on his team. And Tyranitar is still nice for a gold bat, but I already removed Blissey, so it's just basically me volt switching around. So I'm actually gonna use this opportunity to click superpower again. And just to find out what kind of uh, scissor we're dealing with. And I think I'll uh, just second this is fine. Doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's it, it is nice for gold bet, but just putting him this low is already super helpful and Let's see. 10, 16. Weezing, Flamethrower... I don't want to weaken Weezing too much. And it is like I said, guys. 
My Mandibus doesn't really need to beat anything. I'm just gonna foul play. I'm choice scarfed as well, so if, if he doesn't click Bullet Punch for some reason, maybe he, for, he forgot, but um, I'm choice scarfed. So I outspeed this if he's running max speed and with the Sword Sense up, I kill him. He does go for Bullet Punch. Well, that actually knocks me out, that's insane. Okay, uh, we go into... I should have gone Mian Xiao actually, but this is fine as well. Um, I can go Ferret Thorn here. I guess so I wanted to keep Weezing alive for the Conkeldor. But he's, he's Bullet Punching here. Not so much. <laughs> Like uh, Life Warp, Source Dance, Scissor. It's not a joke. Conkeldor comes in again. This time he's poisoned. And I can just again bring in the Weezing. Don't have to worry about anything. And it would have been nice if we actually burned the Rotom earlier. He's not gonna gain much recovery from this. I'm just gonna flamethrower here as he stays in. He clicks Thunder Punch. But I only need Weezing to beat this, so it's completely fine. Poison helping us. He decides to go for Mach, and now I don't need Weezing to win anymore. Weezing did his job. And then I literally only have to um, Volt Switch with Metagross once on the Metagross. I can just stay in there. Doesn't really matter. Can um, I just need Chip. I don't need to burn him. Um, okay. Ah, uh, that's fine. <laughs> he just gave me free chip. He could have gone Rotom directly, but... A power thorn here. I, wanted to, I want to keep my uh, Ferret Thorn. I just so I can knock off Golbet. Making it a bit easier. He did decide to defog. But what I can literally do now is just go for Leech Sheet. I can, I can even knock off. It wouldn't be bad, but... Just leeching is free here. Getting some recovery back. Like, it's a, it's a defensive Metagross. And all we need is Chip on Metagross. I'm just gonna stealth rock here. Doesn't really matter. He can tell me that I'm getting HP back on this. And Lucas healthy again. Um, gonna power whip here. The reason I didn't want to knock off is because of the the Rotom. Like I said, we're, we are just weakening this Pokemon. Um, nothing too special here. Second uh, Weezing now. Now I can finally go for Will O Wisp. The ice punches, literally doing zero to me, and yeah, I don't, I don't see how we are going to lose this. 
Because my jewel team will always beat this ghoul bat. And my opponent decides to forfeit on it as well. So we're 30 minutes in and guys, I have to say Weezing did put in a lot of work in this recording. Like the first game, he completely destroyed our opponent. The second game, uh, the Conkelder got completely shut down and we got Toxic Spikes up as well to poison the Conkelder later on. I have to say Jolty in this game would have... Jolty would have taken over this game. I just needed to find an opportunity to get him in because the Rotom was always going to die to Thunderbolt. I just need to Bolt Switch on the Metagross once so I can knock it out with Thunderbolt and then my Jolty is obviously going to beat the Golbat. Like Tyranitar did his job in getting rid of the Blissey. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the Steam, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a Poker Paste link there. Uh, so to check it out with all the details of the Steam. Also, a little small uh, text guide on the Steam. Uh, why I chose to go for certain spreads, for certain moves and stuff, and why I chose a certain Pokemon, each role of the Pokemon. Uh, it's all explained. And yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Join our Discord server. It's getting really active in the Discord server, and I'd like for you to be part of it as well. Uh, follow me on Instagram. And as well, guys, I keep saying it, but uh, <laughs> you can mill me in game. Uh, if you can spare me some cash, that would be awesome as every bit matters guys even if it's 5k 10k uh, i can use it to buy certain items um change certain moves and it's it just helps it just helps so definitely consider it if you'd like to see more content because that's the way i can uh, keep up the variety in teams um, by your donations but yeah that's all for it that's all it for us all it for today and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.